is the heart of our story. Today, I present with glee and honor my thoughts on the demo, Faraji, an ancient epic developed by Pune-based Nodding Head Games. Here we finally witness Indian mythology in one of the most popular storytelling mediums in the world, gaming. The game takes inspiration from Indian lore and myths as portrayed in the Mahabharata and Ramayana to create its own unique universe. The story begins with the invasion of the human realm by the demons, who seek to avenge the humiliation they suffered when they were defeated by the gods during the last great war a thousand years ago. Fearing the extinction of the human race, the gods seek an earthly champion for their cause. Amidst the chaos, the demons steal away Golu, Raji's younger brother, and leave Raji injured and despairing. When she next wakes up, and I think you can see where I'm going with this, Raji is impassioned with a greater sense of purpose, for she has two missions. To rescue her brother and save the human race, for she is the chosen one. Ooh, very nice. Huge though. I was hoping for a close up. While the gods do not directly get involved in the fulfillment of her objective, they imbue her with some of their almighty powers and oversee her advancement with sympathy and care. The first most obvious aspect of the game that really stands out is its striking visuals. The highly detailed environments, rich with medieval Rajasthani architecture, enlivened by scintillating colors. The graphics are extremely smooth, and the motion of environmental elements, including Raji and the demons, exhibit vivid fluidity. She begins to learn the Trishul's power. The aesthetic nature of the game itself is divine. The lighting and atmospheric mistiness brilliantly come together to create the dreamlike quality of the surroundings. I can't go up, huh? All in all, it's a very expressive game. And I also really appreciated Raji's almost true to life physical behaviorisms. So, I like how they've... Like, she really looks like she's stunned by her environment and she's... Like, she doesn't know where she is and she's searching for her brother. Like how they handled her... Shruti Ghosh and Ian Maud, the co-founders and artists at Nodding Head Games, have always been of the belief that environments are characters themselves where each element has a story to tell. While hard at work, they would constantly ask themselves what, when, where, why, and how, which are essential to telling a good story. I experienced three different yet balanced forms of narrative. The story is gradually revealed as you make progress in the game, through carvings on walls, accompanied by folk songs, and cutscenes of 2D art that adopt the traditional Indian painting style of Pahari, which no doubt must have been challenging to incorporate into a game. I like that music. Your birth, Durga. The Devas knew it was their only chance to create a being capable of destroying their foe. All their power focused into one body, gifted with all their weapons. I wonder what your first thoughts were. 
Then, of course, there's the exchange of dialogue between Lord Vishnu and Goddess Durga, reflecting on Raji and her extraordinary circumstances. Durga and Vishnu are like two sides of a coin, presenting two different sides of the situation. Durga is highly idealistic, optimistic, and confident, whereas Vishnu, skeptical, pessimistic, and critical. Their conversations are enlightening, entertaining, and evocative. One line in particular has stuck with me even after I finished the demo. This is why Shiva imprisoned him, to stop such corruption. What is corruption? All things change. The top-down perspective during this repartee contributes to the feeling of omniscience and ever-presence on the part of the player. You control Raji's actions, but you are also a spectator. Very true. I sometimes imagined myself sitting quietly between these two infinite spirits who debated while I gathered information to look upon the situation objectively. In essence, I'm saying that you feel like a god among gods. The enemies are heavily inspired by Balinese culture, such as Tezabsura, who's an acid-spewing frog-like demon. The weapons, on the other hand, are of Indian origin. The Trishu belongs to Lord Shiva. Okay, I'm missing. Gosh, this game is so particular. Also, the tutorial is often demonstrative of the perfectionism and endurance that characterizes Indians in general. Ah. Okay, so roll... Okay. Got it, got it, got- Hey, I got it! Didn't I get it? Okay. What? This again? All right, now <laughs> let's come to the action. The dodge or roll, which is my favorite move in any game, comes in three very eye-catching variations and can end with just as flamboyant an attack. You can also use the environment to your advantage with jump and spin attacks. The Trishul's attack styles are also many. Aside from the regular hack and slash, it also produces slash and throw projectiles and electrifying air and ground fields. You'll also notice that the health meter is artfully positioned at the base of the characters so that it is clearly visible and not hanging tackily or in the way. Ah. Needless to say, the combat is extremely gratifying and reminiscent of the earlier God of War games. The controls are easy to follow and execute. However, as with any good game, it's a matter of applying the right moves at the right time in battle. And once you've gotten the hang of it, you can achieve a momentum of balletic chain attacks. Puzzles are inventive, but don't pose much of a challenge. They seem to hold more of a poetic value. Nonetheless, it still feels quite satisfying to piece together what are evidently splendorous pieces of art. This one should be around... Here... You do not need to be familiar with Indian mythology to enjoy this game. It will gently guide you through the lore. It will certainly inspire one to appreciate and learn more about these Indian epics. I eagerly look forward to the full release of Raji, an ancient epic. I also highly recommend you guys try the demo out for yourself for a lofty experience. That's it? I was enjoying that! What? It was too short.
way too short. I was really enjoying myself. <laughs> that was a short demo. Shorter than the ones I've played previously, definitely. Either that or time just like flew by while I was playing. I don't know. How long have I been playing? What? One hour? I've been playing for one hour? Doesn't feel like it. I am definitely buying this game when it comes out. Great game. Great game. <laughs> 